morning dear students in, do, in today's class we'll again continue the same concept that is sampling theory so before going to the problems based on sampling theory we'll study the main main concept of the sampling theory so in the so today we'll see the one more concept sampling distribution let us what is sampling distribution we'll see here let us suppose that we have different samples of size n drawn from a population for each and every sample of size n we can compute quantities like mean standard deviation etc obviously these will not be same suppose we group these characteristic according to their frequencies the frequency distribution so generated are called sampling distribution means for the given sample from the population we will choose what here uh, samples so these samples what we will choose may be they having a different kind of mean and standard deviation so this mean and standard deviation will be not same then we will make a group of this according to their frequencies and what we are making the group according to their frequencies is so called a sampling distribution now the sampling distribution of large sample is assumed to be a normal distribution see we have the sampling only if it has what here large samples means that is more than 30 uh, n will be only what here more than 30 then that will be considered as normal distribution and you know that normal distribution already we have studied in the uh, previous module the standard deviation of a sampling distribution is also called standard error means what uh, standard deviation will find for the given uh, sampling uh, distribution is going to consider as what here standard errors see these definitions are very important you need to remember so they may ask you to write details about these all in the examination now next concept is testing of hypothesis which is very important so to reach what is the testing of hypothesis we will see here to reach a decision about population on the basis of sample information we make a certain assumption about the populations involved such assumptions which may or may not be true are called statistical hypothesis or hypothesis means uh, by seeing the uh, condition uh, before doing anything we will have somewhat here uh, assumption that uh, for example I can say that uh, I may uh, before writing according to your study what you will say here I may pass the paper or I may not pass the paper means or I may take these uh, uh, many marks means I may score this much in the examination what assumption that assumption may be true may be false but we are assuming something so such kind of assumptions are going to consider as what here a hypothesis or we can call it is statistical hypothesis so to reach decisions about population on the basis of sample information we make certain assumptions about the populations involved such assumptions which may or may not be true are called statistical hypothesis by testing a hypothesis is meant a process of for deciding whether to accept or reject the hypothesis this method consists of assuming the hypothesis as correct and then compute the probabilities 
of getting the observed sample if probability is less than a certain pre-assigned value the hypothesis is rejected now we'll see what is errors we have two kinds of error one is type 1 error second one is what here type 2 error if a hypothesis is rejected why it should have been accepted we say that a type 1 error you have to remember what is type 1 error if a hypothesis is rejected while it should have been accepted means instead of accepting if you reject the hypothesis so that kind of error is going to called as type 1 error similarly if a hypothesis is accepted while it should have been rejected we say that a type 2 error means here we have accepted so but it could have been what here uh, rejected so such kind of uh, this one uh, hypothesis is going to called as type 2 error but to reduce these both the hypothesis um, both the uh, hypothesis error so if you increase the sample size so automatically has increased the sample size that errors will be what here uh, going to be uh, decreases means we can reduce it so next is null hypothesis so null hypothesis the hypothesis formulated for the purpose of its rejection the hypothesis formulated for the purpose of its rejection under the assumption that if uh, that it is true is called null hypothesis and the symbol is denoted by h0 the hypothesis formulated for the purpose of its rejection under the assumption that it is true is called null hypothesis donated as h0 means always will take a, 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 what here a false value and will start the problem at that time that condition what we will consider as a false is going to consider as what here null hypothesis any hypothesis which is complementary of null hypothesis is going to called as alternative hypothesis and denoted by capital H1 the hypothesis formulated for the purpose of its rejection under the assumption that it is true is called null hypothesis denoted by h1 any hypothesis which is complementary to the null hypothesis is called alternative hypothesis denoted by h1 so this is one of the uh, important concept to start the examples so once we got what is hypothesis what are the errors then null hypothesis we'll see the significance level of significance and what are the critical values so under which this level of significance will fit and for what level of significance uh, we need to calculate the respective problems and all we'll see here now now significance level which is denoted by z alpha the probability level below which we reject the hypothesis known as level of significance means level of significance having a fixed uh, point uh, means uh, we'll have the one of the values uh, for that value if uh, the given probability level is coming below or less than then we can uh, say that uh, the given hypothesis is going to be rejected so the probability of level below which reject we reject the hypothesis known as level of significance next what is the test of significance and confidence level we'll check here so what is the confidence intervals and all we'll check everything so the process 
which help us to decide about the acceptance or rejection means so the value which decides to accept the hypothesis or reject the hypothesis is called the test of significance the probability is conventionally fixed at so we have two values from where we are going to test the level of significance if this level the value what value we getting from the probability so if it is less than we will accept if it is greater than we reject always okay so which are those values we will see now here the probability is conventionally fixed at 0 0.05 level of significance or 5% we call or we have one more value 0 0.01 uh, level of significance or 1% level of significance so both we are going to test in the examination or they will give uh, you test for 5% uh, level of significance or 0 0.05 uh, 5 .5, uh, level of significance or in other part like that so at that time we need to check that uh, probability and what is happened so here we have a few results so table of crit critical value nature of the test so two tail test two tail test means uh, means we have uh, both uh, I can say uh, this is a graph for here so this is a normal uh, curve so we have two tail means it will come both so both the left hand side as well as the right hand side one tail means it will be uh, uh, positive side and uh, means right tail test positive and left tail test means uh, negative side so here what happens what I had drawn here so these are the values minus 1.96 and plus 1.96 and what this area is there this area is going to called as critical region so this area is nothing but what here called a critical region so here this is also a critical region on the left hand side so the critical region is nothing which consider as 2.5 percent and 2.5 percent here so 2.5 2.5 will get what here completely 5 percent okay so like that we are going to calculate uh, for the uh, level of significance so we call it is uh, if you consider complete uh, this uh, graph at that time it will be two tail if you consider only right side it is one uh, right tail test and if you consider only the left hand side it will be um, what here left tail test so based on this we have uh, the values here so these values you need to remember so nature of the test so two tail test means complete graph right tail test right hand side left tail test means left hand side so for two tail test means complete so at that time a uh, level of significance for one percent it is 2.58 you need to remember the value and for the five percent it is 1.966 if your calculated value what will get from the probability if it is less than will accept the uh, uh, your hypothesis or if it is coming greater than will reject it in both the cases similarly right tail test so here the value of level of significance is 2.33 and for uh, uh, for 1 percent and for 5 percent it is 1.645 similarly for the left tail test the same values but in what here negative uh, direction so minus 2 times 3 3 for 1 percent and minus 1.645 for 5 percent so this critical value table and the diagram and this process what we have that is a significance level so we can go for the problem and we need to check whether the given sample is having a, a accepted or rejected based on significance level So this is a table so this is a mu uh, graph a mu value so uh, graph is uh, this is what we have drawn it is normal uh, curve so what shaded part is there I told this is a critical region and critical region having 2.5 percent uh, and uh, here also a critical region it is also 2.5 percent on negative side so both are uh, critical and uh, region so this both what unshaded part is there we call this acceptance region so based on this 
uh, we'll see whether the given graph, given problem having two tail test or uh, or we can say that it is a right tail test or left tail tail uh, test. If it is a two tail test, we'll apply for one percent, two point five eight, and uh, uh, for for uh, for uh, for five uh, percent, it will be one point nine six, or else it will be uh, what year? Two point three three and one point four five for the either right or left if it is right with positive sign and if it is left it is negative sign so with the help of this so we'll see uh, what is the again a few more concept with examples